Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to High Media TV. I'm your host, Evan from High Media TV, and welcome back to Nerd News. Our top story of the day is that we've got some gamer centric entries to the Merriam Webster dictionary. But before we get into it, let's get into our headlines of the day. All of these headlines can be well, can also be found uh, on our YouTube sh on our, our YouTube channel, uh, where we go into more depth of them as individual YouTube shorts. VTuber Iron Mouse breaks Twitch subscriber record, surpassing 320,000 paying viewers. A, Bethes uh, a delusional Bethesda honcho says Starfield is the best game we've ever made. As his dementia sits in. <laughs> Not all Space Marines are created equal. Space Marine 2 dev asks players to be nice on the off chance you come across Henry Cavill. A Valve engineer used ChatGPT to make a new matchmaking algorithm for Deadlock, and now it's in the game. And lastly, Rocky Horror Picture Show is getting its own video game for Halloween. And it's a retro 2D platformer for some reason. And lastly, our main story of the day, Dungeon Crawler enters the Merriam-Webster Dictionary alongside touch grass and 200 other words and places. Earlier today, they announced it's added 200 said words and phrases to the online dictionary and its latest efforts to maintain relevance in the arms race against the ever-changing English language. We can only guess at what arcane metrics and procedures Merriam-Webster follows to determine when and why a term is worthy entering the record, but I do know that Dungeon Crawler is there now, and that's pretty neat. To paraphrase countless essays that were, weren't sure how to start their school papers, Merriam-Webster defines a dungeon crawler as a video game where the gameplay is primarily focused on defeating enemies while exploring a usually randomly generated labyrinth or dungeon-like environment. According to the dictionary, its first known use was in 1989, which, which considering that people were making games like D&D and Moria back in the 70s seems a little late to me, but not Merriam or Webster. Other additions range from foods like burrata and capicola, Tony Soprano would be thrilled, a media genre terms like true crime and beach read, phrases like nepo baby, cash grab, late capitalism, round out the political and economic entries, which probably isn't some kind of troubling almond. Our lexicons monitor a huge range of sources to select which words and definitions to add, said Peter Swalski, editor at large for Miriam Webster from academic journals to social media. These give us a very thorough view of the English language. I think that the, uh, there are going to be plenty of English teachers and, and grammar Nazis that abhor this. Don't. You know, <sighs> language is very much a very fluid thing. Language is a very personal thing. You know, the, you know, one of the first things I learned when I took my first level college level English class was everything that you learned in an English class up to that point, all of the rules, all of the things that you're supposed to do, all of these laws, all of that is fluid. All, it, they are, they are not rules. They are guidelines and guide and and, and 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 if you find a reason why that you shouldn't follow that guideline that you you do it you know obviously don't make a run-on sentence obviously use proper punctuation but ultimately at the end of the day using language is as much of a utility art form as it is utility and how you choose to speak write and use words so long as other people understand what you're saying that's language when I say somebody to get good or touch grass, you guys know what I mean by that. Like, that's language. And just because it wasn't, you know, written by a Shakespearean poet 200 years ago, doesn't make it any less valid. Words belong to pe Words don't belong to books. Words don't belong to authorities like Merriam-Webster. They're there. They're not there to like say how we, what we can and can't say, what we can and can't do, what we can and can't, you know, use for language. They're there, you know, as archivists of the human experience more than anything else. And you know, Merriam-Webster doing this, I think, is them kind of, you know, showing that that is their role in our society. And I think that's just neat. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/tip.
all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.